So I think my hair is like a 3C if you follow the hair scale. It's pretty fine, uh, frizzy, and fluffy. So I have been using the Suave Shea Butter and Almond Line to shampoo and condition my hair, and then the uh, Gel and Mousse to style. So I don't know if this is best to style my hair, but it works good enough and it fits in my budget. I think that Shea Butter weighs down my hair a bit, so I am looking into experimenting and see what works best. So stay tuned and I'll keep you updated on that. So I never really had a problem with the um, texture of my hair, but I have gotten some backlash from other people. I remember being a child and my mom being pretty frustrated with the manageability of my hair, so I did spend a lot of my childhood in braided styles. Um, so when I was older, like in middle school, I started doing my own thing. Um, I would just uh, put my hair in a bun. Um, I didn't really know how to take care of it and I didn't really know how to style it. Um, so when I was like 17 or 18, my mom took me to a hair salon to get a relaxer. So I was pretty apprehensive about this and I wasn't sure if I wanted to go through with it because my hair had been natural my whole life. Um, I didn't really like the idea of, you know, all the strong chemicals, so I wasn't really happy with the relaxer. Uh, when I moved out on my own, I was about 18, um, I started to grow my hair out and I cut out the, uh, the ends um, and I was looking online about, you know, how to take care of my hair and keep it healthy. So I was in college at this time and I had roommates and I started to experience some hair shaming and people just seeming to be uh, uncomfortable with my hair. Um, like I had a lot of people like uh, black women, black men saying, you know, what's up with their hair? Why don't you put some braids in your hair? Why don't you put a hair weave in? And I had some comments from people saying like, oh, your hair would look so pretty straight or um, you would look prettier with straight hair. And actually, uh, one of my roommates at the time, um, she asked me, you know, do you need to borrow my straightener as if trying to give some sort of hint? Um, so this was pretty disheartening because in my mind, I was doing a good thing by embracing my natural hair. And this, uh, this backlash, it was from um, black and white people. And I actually had uh, this lady, she tried to help me with my hair. She was Afro-Latina and she actually gave me a hair product and she pointed out my roommate um, who was uh, black and she had really nice straightened hair and she was like, oh, you know, don't you want your hair to look, uh, you know, really nice like her hair. So, you know, I wasn't really interested in straightening my hair. I just wanted to keep it healthy and to grow it out. So at this time, I just started to wear wigs because um, I worked and I was in school and I really didn't have that much time for my hair. So yeah, um, texturism is real. There's this idea that mixed girls are supposed to have big glossy curly hair. So uh, my hair is not really like that. I have smaller uh, frizzier curls. And I'm happy with that. Um, it was other people and their expectations of hair which were part of the issue for me. Um, I think it's kind of sad that so many people have preconceived notions about what uh, hair should look like and they're not able to see the beauty in all hair. Um, as for me, I'm a all hair type matters type of person. Um, I love all afro textured hair. Um, I think that uh, people should be able to wear their hair styled naturally and how they like. So that was my story and my experience. It definitely wasn't smooth sailing. It's definitely been an uphill battle, but I do love and appreciate uh, my natural hair. So I've been, um, you know, working with it more and trying to wear it out more, but it is still a work in progress, so I will keep you posted on that.